amazing people. Karibu sana to another vlog. My name is Mary Mikali Ndongo. If it is your very first time to be here, feel at home. We love visitors. You are welcome to this channel. I'm sure you will learn something. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. We really, really appreciate it and we are grateful and we say thank you for being here. We are a channel that deals with motivation, personal growth and relationships. So we talk about those three major things and if these are things that you're interested in that you want to maybe listen more into kindly kindly i beg you subscribe to our channel and we will appreciate the love god bless you today it has taken heaven and earth <laughs> the man that i'm about to bring to us is a very amazing person someone that i met Someone that uh, intrigued me in a way. And uh, the amazing thing is that he's here for us to have that conversation. Today we are talking about how do you know someone is the right person for you? Because I know a lot of us are there. If you are in a relationship, if maybe you are planning to marry, you will always have that question. How do I know that this person is for me? Mm -hmm. Allow me without any more <laughs> stories to invite my one and only husband, Karibu Sana, to our platform. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Hi, good people. My name is Peter. Uh, I'm the famous Peter. Uh, no more. What do you mean famous? I haven't been talking about you. I've just called but you I'm husband. I'm always on your posters. <laughs> <laughs> and then you always mention that you're marrying Mukari Ndongo. Who is Ndongo? Okay. Yes. Um, so I'm a, my name is Peter Ndongo. I'm a Christian. Husband to this beautiful wife. Oh. Beautiful lady. Yes. I thank God that I'm here. Karibu sana. Yes. So we have been married for three years and four months. And it has been an awesome journey. I won't lie, every marriage has it. its ups and downs. And ours has also gone through that wave. And the one thing that I know is that I said yes, and I have to stick here. Ni? For better, for worse. It, it but was there was, for better, for worse. Yeah. Not for better, for us. <laughs> we have to stick and we have to do this right. And this is just to encourage someone who is in a relationship and you feel like, I'm, I'm tired. I can't give my all. You need to remember your vows. You said I do and it is for better for us. So whatever comes and it's not like every person accepts the vows and I expect the worst. I'm okay. Some the vows you're expecting the best. It's the curve. Whatever comes you have to eat and you have to enjoy every season. So for us, I'll ask you a question, babe. Like when did you know? Ama, how did you know that I was the right person for you? Right person for who? Yeah, the right person for, for you. It's the right person to marry you. To marry me? Yeah. No, I'm no. to be your wife. Because I know you have dated other girls. Mm. You have been in a relationship before. So what was the difference when you were dating me and when you were dating your girlfriends? Why did you Why did you decide to marry me and not them? Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. And it's an easy one at the same time. Uh, many think... The first time I saw your pictures, mm. um, I saw someone. Mm -hmm. I saw into the future. Mm -hmm. I saw the mother of my kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, if you saw the mother of your children, uh, why didn't you see the same thing? I'm a, why, why did you not see the same thing uh, with the other ladies? Uh, in life. You, we dated, I've dated, mm -hmm. I've gone through different relationships up and down. Mm -hmm. And uh, in every relationship, you can say that there's something that drew you to that relationship. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we met mm -hmm. in that season, mm -hmm. I, was that, I was in that season of telling God, this is what I want. Okay. I've taken myself for a trip mm -hmm. and uh, where I got myself to... Uh, Siku nilipata maadi ya kuna njia. So nukafika maani, nukambia mongo, hey, now if this is what I desire, I also desire to have a family, I also desire to be a husband, a good husband, that is a, a father, 
I needed to be someone different, having not been raised like the others or let's say the majority mm -hmm. with a complete family. Mm -hmm. For me, when I was growing, because I didn't have a family, I was telling myself that I'll have a family for my own and I'll be, I'll do those things that I, I, I didn't get to be, uh, I didn't get to see, I didn't get to like, uh, uh, to have. So when I first saw your picture, it is in that season of, uh, so God, I've walked this life and I need a wife. So when I first saw your picture, I saw a wife, a mother. So you, when you look at a picture and you see um, a parent, that means this person, what does it mean? It means this person is someone that you can be able to work with. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. There is, I will not say that there is so much that I saw. Okay. Yes, I just saw a parent. And from that parent came a wife. Because now, how could that person give me kids if they are not my wife? Okay. So there's someone who is watching that mm -hmm. does not know how you even saw the picture. Where did you even see the picture? So take us back and give us a story. Where did you see the picture? How did it come to be that you saw even that picture for you to see a mother? So give us a story. Now, this is a, this is an interesting one. Mm -hmm. uh, 2020, 2019, 2020, I had okay. a friend. Uh, this friend used to, to work where I was living. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we used to play talk uh she had my number yeah so we'll talk after work i'll talk before i go to work i'll pass her i'll pass by and say hi mm -hmm. and then go to work okay. now the if you have someone's number they always post their status so um, i was that person that was very keen on what are my friends posting mm -hmm. so this particular day she posts someone with kids mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, there was a video and some few pictures there. Mm -hmm. The video was someone trying to, uh, was a lady trying to teach the girl, the small girl, like how to walk. And I was like, wow. And then the others are just these pictures you find of so you like what? These kids, the way is um to yanashka um the lady oh mama oh mama ke basi si Mm. And I'm like, hey, say hi. Tell tell her she, she's a good mom. And Okay. Before, guys, he continues with the story. This is my side of the story. So, uh, 2020, as Peter is saying, uh, there were no jobs. I was at home. The friend, who is a mutual friend for both of us, um, had not worked for a while. And then she got a job abruptly. And she didn't have someone to help her with the baby and at the time i was doing nothing i was just at home just minding my own business and i know a lot of us either you are you are not working so you're just indoors and i told her because you don't have money to hire a nanny and you don't have you don't have saved money as well to go and just pay daycare every day and you need to now save and before one month ends for you to get your even your first pay there's no way that you will take care of this kid. So just bring the baby. At the time, the, the baby was starting to feed. So she didn't really need much food. That he, I would say that we needed money. So what I told her is, when you're coming to our home, make sure you buy her maybe a yogurt or something, something just extra so that you find that Akikula, our food, Badwakona supplements, because sometimes when you don't have kids, you don't cook meals that are kid-friendly. Yeah. So I told her, in case you bring the child, just carry something, extra snack or something, but sana sana the yogurt, because we needed to boost the muscle, the bone muscles of a baby, because And it was a deal. And I love kids, so I was like, I'm related to. And as Peter is saying, the, the, the baby was learning was learning things she would maybe say some some words which are new and the mom has not heard them so my job was to make sure that every time she overcomes a milestone it's to record or to take pictures and send the mom so when she first stood and walked on her own or stood for long i would take pictures and we are there cheering and just congratulating the baby so this particular day we were at home doing nothing and I was just tired and I'm like, ah, 
why don't we just take photos? My cousins were there, my sisters. So we were a bunch of girls. And I'm like, everyone to do makeup, let's take photos. And we do we did our makeup. We looked nice by the way. We 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 did a good photo shoot just at home. Um and I sent the pictures to our mutual friend. So you guys that have WhatsApp, utilize your WhatsApp very well because someone might just find something amazing and my continue with your story. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now uh after seeing uh, the pictures, I sent my my greetings and I was like, hey, go say hi. Mm. Go tell her she she's she's a good mom and she has a big heart because now training someone, some of us really don't know, didn't know back then how that process goes. How do you train someone to walk? How do you train someone to talk? How do you make them move from point A to point B? And uh, the the answer I got was amazing one. I was like, uh, now this baby, mm -hmm. this is my baby. Yeah. And the person she's with, uh, that's my friend. So she's babysitting my bae. And I was like, uh, so she's not married. That's the first thing that came to mind. Yep. So her jaw lewa, and then she's like, yeah, ata anam too. She's actually very single, ready to mingle. What? And I was like, okay, mungu ni nani? Hey. Mungu ni nani? See God. See God. I was like, <laughs> go, now do this. Mm. Do this for me. See, unajua sinu wabeshte. I want you to go to that lady after after work and come to you. And then give that lady my number. Tell her someone wants to talk to them. Mwambie kuna msia meona kitrin to you na anataka kumuongeresha. So, confidently. She was like, okay, well and good. Since you're single and you're my friend, uh, make sure I do this hookup. Minta fanya i hookup. So I was like, I'm game. Ananda, kaenda that evening they met and then share the details. We didn't meet the following day. We met after. Uh, my friend, <laughs> my friend did not meet me. My friend texted me because she was coming late from work. So ninety percent of the time, she was not the one picking or dropping the child. The husband was doing that for her. Because now her, she had to wake up very early. She didn't want to disturb the child waking her too early. So the husband was doing that. She was also coming from work late. So she couldn't pick the baby. So the husband used to pick the baby after Ametoka Kazi. Mm -hmm. So we didn't meet. My friend texted me. Hi, Marion. How are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. And I'm like, why are you even saying hi? Like we haven't talked because we, we used to talk a lot she because of good, course of the baby. So Kumbe and I try to make stories so that uh, to start a conversation <laughs> so that I feel like there's something that she wants to tell me. So I'm like, hey, uh, I almost mentioned her name. So uh, so and so, what's up? And then she's like, uh, Marion, so there's this guy. I'm like, uh-huh. Um, he's he's a friend from work um that wants to have a conversation with you. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so why don't you give him my number to talk to me? Then she's like, no, wait first. Um, I can't give you his number. Let me just ask you questions first. I'm like, okay, go ahead. W what's up? She's like, uh, he's light. He looks like this. Awesome. Um, I asked, I asked her, is he what? I asked her, is he working? Then he told me yes. I I asked her where. She told me she doesn't really know. All she knows is that this guy is working. So I'm like, okay. So you give him my number. Then she's like, no. He told me to give you his number. And the interesting part is, she sent me three photos, like his best photos at the time. Three of them. I will try and see if I will get them and and just show you. Three of his best photos. And one, he was standing on a motorbike. The other one was him looking very young and very sexy. And then the third one was, I, I don't remember, but there were looking three. Looking at I was laying on a bike. Alejandro, my legs. <laughs> but, yeah, he, she sent me three photos and then told me that uh, that's how he looks. And for a minute there, I was like turned off because I'm like, oh, no way. He's light. I don't like light people. No, what are these? And I'm like, ah, so he's light. <laughs> 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 he's light. 
He's Don't light. Like and handsome material. I, guys, Benji. But you see, that that was me. I was wounded by light people. So I'm like, no, ca- so, no, no, no. I don't want Alejandro's. So <laughs> she told me, okay, Sawa, if you don't want, it's okay. Because now I'm a shan to me a picture and I mean me a story. I'm like, I share Quendi, I don't want. Yeah, and that's how me I ended that conversation. So we didn't meet the following day. We met after two days. And I was like, uh, did you give her my number? Uh, our friend. Hajiku filter vitu. Hajiku weka vitu chini. She was like, uh, nili, nili peleka. Mi nilienda, but alisema mwenye haja uenda. Alisema upati uwe namba yake. Umpigie. So, who am I? So, at least I may approve ni pewe namba. So, mm. I took the number, texted hi. Um, Peter, I'm the one that is uh, that I sent uh, uh, some uh, the lady, certain lady to come and see A, B, C, D, and people. What? Let me tell you something. People, what? If there's something that Peter did not know was how to vibe, he just what? you just how do you just take someone hi? My name is Peter. I'm the one who got your number. So, uh-huh. no, no. no, you what, what, you tell me. Was I me... supposed to start vibing you immediately? Yeah. Start to look even uh, no start the conversation you got no start the conversation with you look nice I saw your picture somewhere. I but I liked said it. that you didn't immediately. I said no, you didn't. I said in the uh, uh, in that conversation along that conversation no. we had that discussion. No. Yeah, you look beautiful. I liked you and I. No, you didn't. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not like saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Let me tell you then. <laughs> Peter, uh, let me tell you. Let's now. confess to <laughs> the, the people watching this thing that you were boring. When nah. when we first met, nah. you For, had you you had your you had your type of men, and what, you had your you type of desire time? desired vibe. You there's a vibe you've gotten used to, and now here comes, who do say different? Love wapa ni mekuja staki okay. Do know you are abusing people indirectly, but okay, you guys listen. Now what have I done? No, being a lady, speaking from my perspective, yeah. Mm. One, you are not putting effort. You're just hi. My name is Peter. So I'm the one. So uh-huh. So you are the one, and then what? You see, that's that's the question I'm saying. So you used to bow. You are like you are so used to getting girls so easily. No. So you are not even putting effort. Put effort, bro. Show us effort. You don't show effort and on you know, first day. Why? Why not? Why should you do that? When you go for for an interview, you don't give your best. You don't go to you don't go and start cleaning off the office to show them that you can actually work. You go for the interview. Exactly. It is the interview alone. So what are we interviewing? So you need to do we and are say with what is your name. what is needed. Nothing beyond that. If I am if I am uh, a thief, you know after employing me. It's a lie. Uh-uh. I refuse. But this particular, you only, I only needed to introduce myself and say, "Hey, I'm Peter. I saw your picture somewhere. I took your number, and um, I I just want us to have a discussion. I want us to have something because if I could have said immediately mm-hmm. that uh, I, I I I like you or I want us to have a relationship, you'd be like." Do is easy life is there to the Nairobi. Mm. As me put a game National Park ten as it kooku. I didn't want. I wanted to take things slowly. No. I just wanted to take things slowly. Uh huh. One day at a time. So I text. We talked for the first day. Mm. And as usual, I was a busy guy at that time. Mm. So the following day we didn't get to text. I sent a message in the morning. And then went to work. I didn't remember to reply. You sent a reply, but I didn't read it. I saw it in the evening. I was like, uh, hey, I have seen your text. I saw your text a bit late. Good night. And then I talked to you the following morning. Good morning. And then done. To Kapatana Terra Gioni. Then, Mimi Koshugurizangu, three days later, Kapatana na Madam. And she's like, uh, Wewe, hizo ni story gani ni nasikia? Nambu we ni mse boring sana, niko like, boring na aje. Aje. Akone likuwa nataka aje. Si, ko, si ko, ata ache siku zipita pita and then we could be having this other conversation that she wants afterwards. And she was like, my friend said you're very boring. 
oh at una mtetsting high and then done i was like okay hivyo tu ndio alikuambia so immediately ni kwako hapo nje ya duka i called you hey sasa so nimesikia umesema mimi ni msee boring very boring ume umesema mimi ni msee boring ah, okay boring. ah naweza taka tu na naweza taka tufanye a very simple challenge <laughs> Uh, give me 72 hours mm. 72 hours just 3 days and after 3 three, three days mm. these 3 days zikisha and you still have the same opinion lady i'm not i'm not even going to talk to you anymore i'm going to delete your number and that conversation <laughs> there and move on with life like we never ever met mhm what mm. happened what do you say mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are here having this conversation of yes, course. Yes, because I wasn't boring. You were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. This is my truth. <laughs> Every time we have this conversation with Peter, he always tries to make it nah. look like he was mm-hmm. just waiting for you for I don't know whatever. But the truth is from my side of the story because I was the one receiving the text, I was the one replying them. He was really really not giving like he was not just he was not putting effort he was just i think and and this just, is my perspective i was just drawing one maze one uh, this ini kuku unarushia mind moja moja but there was no mind you are not throwing anything See, what that, you are that, what you are doing ties no what, no what you are doing was scaring the kuku you you are not throwing any mind now you started <laughs> throwing mind <laughs> When you were told I said you were boring that's mm-hmm. when you put effort. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's okay. okay. So, I win. Okay, you win. It's fine. I won. It's not it's not a competition by the way. I'm still <laughs> insisting that you are not putting I'm in effort. I'm still winning. So you put in effort after someone actually gave you feedback that you are boring. When I evaluated I your work, your effort, it's like I, I, I gave you a zero oh. and then now you started putting in effort and then again I was the I one who evaluated a, you see, and I gave you a 90. You see, the Bible says. And then I evaluated again, I gave you a 100 and that's why I said I do. Nature so, dictates. Nature dictates. There's nothing like nature. There. Nature dictates. It's okay. That the patient people, the ones that are patient, always have the best in life yes that is what i'll tell you it's okay so after 72 hours so i took to i <laughs> took roughly <three> 3 days oh. <laughs> what happened just uh, say the truth guy the truth will set you free peter showed his true colors so he used to call every day in now because he can't text because at the time was he was roughly kind of busy during yeah. the day So he utilized his nights very well. So he would call around 10 all the way till 2 or 3. I remember there's even a particular night I slept and snored until morning while we were still on call and in the morning we woke up said good morning then ended the call. So I started seeing effort my truth. Mm. And uh, it got to a point now he's calling too much. I don't have stories. I'm like ah sasa so we need to talk what what are we going to talk about so I would just give phones my my entire family talk mm. to him everyone because he would call I'm like I'm tired you know give someone I give my sister and then they would talk I don't know even <laughs> he he just had conversations for everyone because and because I'm at the time boring. they were in high school he would just give them stories 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 about school and nini nini and they would talk The other time he calls I remember there is even a time I even gave my mom to say hi. Yani it was just like that. I, I, did I ever give my dad? <laughs> no. I didn't, I didn't give. <laughs> But my... he said hi in one of those days. I think so. He just said hi and dad. Yeah, we used to talk to a point that I would even go to the loo just having a conversation with him wow. and do my business there. And and <laughs> and because I was at home, I remember at, at some point that the time now dad said hi He came knocked and he's like, "Hey, unafanya nini uko toka?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, I even forgot I was doing my business. I I came out and then that's when he said hi." But of course, yeah, we we were having a lot of conversations and I can't tell you what we were talking about. Basically catching up, talking about life, perspectives about everything and and just getting to know his his persona, getting to know how he he 
quote unquote sees life and how he values things and that, and and that was that i think for me i would say the moment that i knew peter was for me was number one the fact that we had we had chemistry in terms of even our conversations zilikuwa na flow you know we would just like sit have a conversation not like sit in person but now when he calls and we would talk about anything and everything i found myself telling him even some of the deepest secrets so najan zile vitu nasemanga this one i'll go with it to the grave hmm. we would talk about everything and i remember at some time at some point he even asked me is that really uh true uh, because he was so surprised that i would just open up like that and i think even in my opening up i made him open up and we really really shared so i think for me it was now number one the fact that he was putting effort like he would call he was so diligent he was so patient and he would listen he was a very good listener on phone and i and loved still, it. no you're not and i loved a good listener. i'm listening maybe, to you talk maybe <laughs> and i loved his voice at the time he used to yeah. fake his voice Fake he would words. deepen it Fake he would words. make it sexy yeah. so when you're talking i think that's why he soothed me to even sleep i wasn't sleeping because he was boring <laughs> <laughs> i slept because i was be- i was being soothed i was to alejandro <laughs> mm. <laughs> sweet alejandro yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah so i think for me and then there was this piece that just came with peter and i think that for me just worked it just worked it's the piece that comes with peter yeah the piece that came with him and comes that worked and still there that worked for me eh uh-huh. mm. conclude your story you know so after 72 so, hours um she was officially officially and i repeat officially mm. uh no longer single <laughs> I was single before we started the 72 hours. No. Yeah, 3 days earlier you were single. Even But after the 3 the days later you were not single. I was single. No. You had not asked me to be your girlfriend or anything I, I, was, I didn't need to ask. What were you doing? I already knew. You you knew me I didn't so me I was no, single. No, it is because you wanted to be spoon-fed <laughs> everything. Yeah. Like from I can't group, assume that from we are dating. From stage 1 I Feed you f- Do you know how many people one? assume they are dating and then unakuja hapo unapigwa na reality that you know what you're just my good friend you're my best friend You see the best part is it is that I knew what you were to me because it didn't need you to know what you need to, who you are to me because your side um uh, we are told men this is a uh, for us men uh, don't go for that guy that loves you go for that girl that you love <laughs> mapenzi au badilika so i knew i'm already good with what i have seen even um, after telling you i don't like light people it is you didn't like right people before you met me eh uh-huh. so uh, you, uh, before you met me you didn't like them but after meeting me things changed <laughs> you changed. got confidence yes things Ish. changed okay And uh, ah, yeah. you you started liking light people. Kinda. You even got married to one. Yeah, and had a light one. And even got a baby that is one. Oh no. <laughs> Man. Come see. Me. So after 72 hours we can completely say that uh, uh it was set it was dust that was already settled. So uh Peter I think because he him when you are saying he he already knew what he wanted. But for me I was still resistant. I was like no you're not my type, you're not my person as much as we are having conversations. In his story na share kwa conversations. Now, every time he used to tell us to tell me that we need to organize a meeting, I would always come up with an excuse. I'm like no we are not meeting. Number one, covid, number two, covid, number three, covid and everything Lockdown. everything was covid. <laughs> So those were my answers and my reasons why I didn't want to meet but I knew it's because I wasn't interested I, I didn't like him that way. So in the process of us having conversations a laptop that we were using at home got spoiled. And because he had mentioned that he he repairs laptops and it's something that he does I was like no there's this laptop I need repaired so how can I have it repaired? And he's like no you can bring it to my shop no you can come to my home my house no. see you on sunday no. on, or, or on what? weekdays you are not uh, 
available. Oh yeah, I wasn't because meet now. Weekdays. Yeah, because I was still the one babysitting the baby, so I wouldn't carry the baby all the way to but to on, the, need to your on work Saturday place. you you could not still meet because you were doing the clean up, the house yeah, yeah, jobs, yeah, yeah. The and DC. So what about on Sunday? Since churches are closed, why don't we meet on Sunday? Mm. And uh, I can get to fix your laptop within an hour, and then we just go back. Yeah. So that happened. I went to meet him. And guys, the reception I got was amazing. It was the first time I met this boy because he was a boy then. Kobarabara said hi. Then I I was taken to his his home. Like a very my humble. <laughs> very, abode, my humble abode. Very humble. <laughs> and you know the first thing that Peter did? Peter took a kitamba, a wet one, because I had dust. He wiped my feet. I was a gentleman. And he welcomed me into his home. And I felt so nice. Like no one had received me in that manner. And for me, because that um Squat, acts, of, kwenda, <laughs> acts of service kinda speak to me. They're like my love language. He got another tick. And then I, I was welcomed, and then there was snacks, man. So I was like, oh, awesome, nice. So I started eating immediately. I'll take salad. No, I ate proper. Was nuts and, and and we, we had a conversation while he was cooking. No, the food wasn't there. Yeah. So while we were having conversation, he was cooking. And me, I'm just seated, enjoying. And I nikaike a movie. So me, I'm watching a movie. He's cooking and then we are still conversing. So I don't know if I, even I, I watched the movie. It was just playing for the sake. So when we, we were done, I did not know. It will already be at 8.30 there, about almost 9. And for those people that were, no... At the time, cafe you likwa, you're nine. nine yeah. eh. So ni eight thirty. I I need to where 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 we were staying and where he was staying. I needed to board two matatus and of course single manage because as as some matatus anywhere they were not there. So I had to do the home, and that's how we 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 ended up not repairing the laptop, and we rescheduled the meeting yes uh, the repair the repair to tuesday thursday was it that's, a thursday thursday that week yeah good job um uh, we didn't we talked so i wasn't even able to attend to customers i ended up closing the, the work at before 12. Four. no you closed at 12. oh yes at 12. Mm. so like i'm even hungry so let's go for lunch then after lunch maybe in the nifungue tena nendele naka so we started off. The oh, OCC, oh, boom, at the home. And uh, I showed my skills. The, the, the reason we were going home, I was hungry, but at the same time, the laptop was at home. So I was supposed to repair that laptop. Yeah. At uh, the same time, Tekla. So she was like, all oh, the way through that journey, she was like, telling me, oh, how she's good at cooking and I'm like, I really need to know this cooking because you cannot keep on telling me that you're good at cooking. Yet I've already cooked for you, you haven't cooked for me. So so we went home and she was like, uh, what do you want me to cook? And I was like, what do you know to cook? How? What can you cook? And she was like, uh, I can cook good pilau. Okay, pilau. To cook game. So what do you need? Rice, viungo, meat, viungo. And I went for them because I'm a little at Konyuma and Kakuja, and she cooked. And she cooked good food. Maybe coach a kuna on a baki. Hey, Madam, si kujange tu kila si kuna ni pikiya. I ate. Ah, uh, and after eating, I we still forgot because now for me, ah, uh, I also wanted. I was also looking for someone that can be able. I knew that I need someone that can feed me. Feed me so well. I, I love food. And I for me, food is for the body. And body is for food. And I I used to eat like a meeting for... Wajoile ya kukula ni kama hakuna kesho. Lakini siya kuwaribu. Ni mwili naitisha. So I used to eat very well. And uh, here comes a lady that can cannot just cook food. Uh, can cook good food. So me I eat. And because of eating and how I got full, I tell a laptop or took it Because I needed that to come again and cook. Because if I give this laptop, 
Mm. It brought her the first time. It brought her the second time. So I need to make sure that we're having a third date. And in this third date, uh, it is where that we'd be able now to do uh, anything else that is needed to ferment this relationship. Up on the Tatoka. Yeah. FYI, guys, the first time I went to his place, ile ya kwanza on a Sunday, this guy, siju kama ni trick alikuanga nayo, I don't know, babe, but I'm sure if it is a trick that this man was using, nilitolewa funguo ya nyumba. Nikapatiwa nikambua, madam, you see this key, it's for this door, it is yours, you can come anytime. And you see what, what that was telling me is that, eh, like ni kama nimepatiwa right kiburi kaingia kidogo and and i was given the key i was told you know anytime you are stranded you are around the, uh, this region you can pass by you know you can just come relax and and I'm, in my head i'm like what why would i even come to your place if i'm coming to this region i think he was saying that because he knows that me and his and our mutual friend I, maybe i would go to visit but i why would I even go to his place? Anyway, it felt nice. Nika toa fungua mimi, nika enda home, nikijua I got a key for this house. Now, the reason, now you, the reason you received that key is not because you are supposed to be coming when you are around. Now, something happened in that meeting. As we are having that discussion meeting and uh, by the time we found ourselves in the evening, uh, our God is an awesome God. Kuna kakitu... That conversation, I remember there is somewhere we got to listen to worship. Yeah. And did you pray? What happened? I don't remember. We just I had just a, remember there was worship. We just had a, 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 a moment where a, a voice just said that this will be your wife. That and says the Lord. That voice was so clear that this will be your wife. Yes. And I was like, oh. So how do, you, how do I even say this? So when she was getting ready at around 8.30 to go, she, um, she decided that she'll do a prayer uh, for the house and for everything. So for me, I was like, after she prayed, I was like, uh, Madam, uh, just know this, that in this duration, you'll be my wife. In six months. In six months? You'll be my wife. And I had to open the door for her to leave the only series of sorry. And I could see him better after that. Yes. The that I is was... the reason why you got the keys. Oh, interesting. I was so shocked. I was so surprised. I remember when we got home now, I, I, I told my mom, Mom, when we were having that conversation, Aki, we laughed at Peter. Oh. It oh, was boy. like a family <laughs> laughter. You know when you <laughs> laugh at people. I'm like, ay, <laughs> six months. Kweni how desperate is this man? Ninini, ikona inamfanya kwe na joto ivo na mbio ya kutaka kuowa, you know? And for for some, to some extent, I was spooked, you know? Nikio, with my family, we laughed about it. But when I was alone, I was like, ay, nilili umu anaume anatoroka. Kwa nini akona mbio ivo? You know those questions you ask yourself? But all, all in all, I, I gathered the confidence to continue talking to him because at the same time, the way I was saying, there was so much peace when it came to just dealing with him. So I continued having that conversation. But at the back of my mind, every time he would mention things like, you, you will be my wife, yeah, you're my thinks. wife, it would spook me because I'm like, eh, eh, chill out. I remember even the first time he initiated a conversation for him to come meet my parents, I was like, eh, eh, boss, relax. You know, umekujasana, relax, let's take this thing slowly. And this is a disclaimer for anyone maybe who has been praying for us, uh, a spouse. Sometimes God makes things align so easily. Yeah. So when the person comes, you're even scared. You're like, where I, I know I made a prayer. I know I have been in that place of just asking God for the right person. But Aki, come. The speed just sometimes scares you. And for a moment or for a minute, I would have run away and I would never have come back. 
So if you're in that place, you also need to like be very sharp because of course we are the enemy and I let all the wrong people. Because by the time he was telling me to marry him, I remember there was like three or four other guys that were telling me the same story. So even to come to that place of just kuangalia niko like who is the right person who is not the who is not the right person it really took the hand of god so we have come to the end of this particular segment i hope that you have learned something but just to put an emphasis on some of the things that worked for us what are your parting shot for this particular episode go and look uh check out the characters check if you're compatible and then above all uh, inquire from god If God approves it, then you're good to go. Awesome. I loved the fact that we had chemistry. There was the acts of service because I am an acts of service kind of girl. That is my love language. So every time I used to go visit him and have him wash my feet or just wipe me, that made me, wow, feel amazed. The other thing is I saw a provider in him because every time we used to meet, either he would make sure that I am sorted in terms of how I will get home. He would make sure that I am home so he would protect me even when it's late in the night. Things that just came so easy for him. It looked like he was not putting so much effort to do. So I think those are some of the things that really made me know that he's the right person for me. At the same time, as much as I was so skeptical because hair and I'm light and I don't like light people. So that was, I think, my biggest no-no. But of course, because of the good that he came with, I overlooked the now the fact that he's light but now coming into the marriage i like the fact that he's light so it's something that really evolved and i came to realize this one is just a by the way that i didn't like light people because when i was in high school a light person rejected me i really really had a crush on this person and then after i rejected nikolai kuna joanini i hate light skins all of them you and everyone that is light go away so i started dating people who look like me or darker than me and i was like you know what i'll be the light person in my relationship so you can imagine the kind of people i was dating so everyone i was dating was darker than me but that i came to realize is a fear that i have but All in all, thank you so much for staying tuned. We are the Ndongos and thank you so much for staying tuned. If you have learned something, kindly leave a comment. Tell us what you would like us to talk about and things that you would really want us to discuss. Otherwise, until next time, bye-bye.